Samosa chutney or chat tandoori chicken butter chicken garlic naan oh lamb biryani dude smells good it's been a long time since i had indian food so today i'm gonna have it for the first time in years let's go over some of my favorites and also try some i never had before remember the price point how many calories is it and if it's worth fitting into your diet so you ready we out What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. Guys, I'm super excited to try Indian food. Like I mentioned, it's been a really long time and I never had Indian food on this channel before. So I'll go over some of the ones I really like and also try some new ones as well. So without further talking, let's open this up and see what I got. All right. Wow, look at this. It smells amazing. So first I got regular naan bread, lamb biryani, samosa chat or chutney. How do you pronounce it? Chicken tandoori leg, the classic butter chicken, and last but not least, garlic naan. Oh man. But before we get started, this is a fitness channel. So I gotta teach you how you can eat like this and still lose weight by going with my four rules. The first rule is to follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we won't skip our training, we won't skip our workout, we won't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the mornings get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our main calories or below. So when you eat your main calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you're above your main calories, you gain weight. If you're below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if you don't know your main calories? Well, my friend, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestreads.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel. Unless it's vodka. So I remember the first time I had Indian food. I'll be honest guys, I didn't like it. But let me tell you why. So when I was in college, I have a Fijian roommate. And keep in mind, we were broke college kids. So he was like, hey Louis, how for show? You wanna try Indian food? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, why not? And I told him, I mean, I never had it before, but I'm always willing to try everything just once. So he took me to his Indian buffet in Norwalk. And keep in mind, this buffet was like six, seven, eight dollars back in the day. This was probably like 20 years ago. Man, we're getting old. But it's one of those buffets where everything was just out in the open. Kind of like hometown buffet, you guys know what I'm talking about? Anyways, I tried it and it was okay. The food was kind of cold and I was like, oh, it's okay, but nothing really great about it. However, when I met my last girlfriend, you know when you try to get to know each other and you ask them questions like, so what's your favorite kind of food? And she told me hers was Indian food. And I was like, Indian food? I mean, I had before with my old roommate. And again, it was okay, but uh, are you sure? So as we started dating, she took me to her favorite Indian spot in San Francisco. And she introduced me to butter chicken. And when I tell you guys when I had butter chicken for the first time, I was like, yo, hey roommate, why don't you tell me about this? So that was my full story about how I learned about Indian food. And of course my friend got married, the same roommate. He had a traditional Indian wedding. So I had Indian food there, things like that. So I'm not new to the game, all right? With that being said, let's start off first with the appetizer. So let's start off with the samosa chutney. Chat, I don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody correct me. But yo, I thought these were the samosas that you, um, you know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, they look like, uh, if I could find an image of it, I'll put it on the screen. That's what I thought it was. So when I got this, I was looking at it like, I didn't order this. So maybe I ordered the wrong thing. So that's what I mean by like, this is my first time trying it. Samosa chutney. So moment of truth, guys. Oh, okay. Wow. So I see the chickpeas, onions. Oh man, this smells amazing. Again, guys, I thought it was the, uh, the ones that you, how do you, how do you explain it? Samosas. You guys know samosas, right? but I guess this is something different. It looks good, smells good. So guys, because this is a fitness channel, I did look up the calories. However, because this is a mom and pop shop, they're all guesstimated, right? So everything is with a grain of salt. I'm not dieting hardcore right now, so I'm pretty lenient with my calories. Does that make sense? Anyways, samosa chutney. Wow. All right, so let's dig in. Here's some of the onions. Again, the chickpeas. Is this vegetarian? I'm not sure. Let's do this, guys. Indian food. Come on. Mmm. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know what it is down here. Maybe you guys can explain it to me, but really good. Mmm. So it's spelled C H A A T. Is it chat or chutney? Because you know sometimes it's spelled differently, but it's pronounced differently. Anyways, wow, this is really good. I think this is potatoes, guys. Mmm. Yeah. Potatoes. Is there meat in this? I don't think there's meat. Mmm, guys, I'm confused because there's like so much flavor in here. I know there's chickpeas now. I know there's potatoes, red onions. Is there anything else? Yeah, see right here? What is this right here? I'm not too sure. It was really good. Mmm, hold up. So there's samosa outside. I think that's what's in here. 
on the bottom. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Really good. What's the name of it? The outside. Mmm. Next, we have the tandoori chicken. So they offer the tandoori chicken leg, the chicken breast. But because I ordered a lot of food, I went for the leg. Because I'm into fitness, I eat too much chicken breast at home. So I went for the leg. So let's open this up. Ooh, tandoori chicken. So you can see it comes with red onions, some bell peppers. Ooh, lemon too. Pour some of this on. Oh man. Ooh, tandoori chicken. Let's do this. Come on. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. For the gains. Mmm. I wonder what kind of marinade this is. I asked some of my Fijian Indian friends to be on my channel, and a lot of them were like, no, no, I don't want to be on camera. Let me lose some weight first. It would have been nice for them to be on my channel so they can help explain some of these things to me, you know what I'm saying? But regardless if they're here or not, this is delicious. Mmm. All right, guys, next let's do my favorite. Butter chicken. So with the butter chicken, it came with either non bread or rice. But because I got the biryani rice, I settled for regular non bread. Oh man, I should have wore white today just in case I spill. But uh, we'll be careful. Butter chicken. So one of these is regular naan, and the other one is garlic naan. Just because the butter chicken came with regular naan. But I love me some garlic naan, you know what I'm saying? So let's open this one up and see which one this is. Oh, I think this one's the regular one. Oh man. Check this out, guys. Wait, I think this is garlic. Yeah, you can see right here. The garlic. Garlic. Naan. Oh. So let's tear some of this off. I know a lot of my Fijian Indian friends, they use their hands and they do the thing, but uh, sorry guys, I'm not used to it. Put some of this on like this. Butter chicken with garlic naan. Let's do this. Mmm. Oh man. All I got was the sauce though, so let's try to get some of the chicken on here. The butter chicken. All right, here we go. Woo -woo. Here you guys go. Let's do this. Mm. Wow. All right, let's try it with the regular knot now. Oh yeah, this is regular knot right here. No garlic. I wonder if it's like a huge difference. Let's try. Mmm. All right, let's try the garlic knot by itself. Mmm. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with either or, but I like the garlic knot a lot. Butter chicken on the regular knot. Here you guys go. Oh man, let's do this. Mm. Mm. Wow guys, this is so good. But I need something to wash this down with. But remember, rule number four, we don't drink our calories on this channel. So today I have a nice Coke Zero Sugar. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. <sighs> you can't go wrong with Coke Zero Sugar and Indian food. Am I right? Last but not least, the lamb biryani. So I'll be honest with you guys, I don't remember if I had biryani before. I feel like I think I have. I went to a couple of Indian weddings, a couple of Indian parties, so I don't remember if I had before. But regardless, we're gonna have it now, right? <laughs> Last but not least, oh man, lamb biryani. Dude, smells good. It looks amazing. So I'm assuming it's biryani rice, right? That's the thing. Lamb, we got the, uh, is it onions? No, what is it, shallots? What is this called? Anyways. My mouth is watering. Yeah, I don't remember if I had this before. Look at this chunk of lamb. Oh man. Lamb biryani. Come on. Let's do this. Mmm. Very uh, minty. Oh yeah. This is it. Mmm. Mmm. Again, I don't know if I had this before. Or maybe I had like chicken biryani or something like that. But uh, I don't think I ever had lamb biryani before. Mm. That is so good. I can't stop eating. Mm. So guys, if you made it this far, I want to talk about something real quick. And that is giving something another chance. I explained in the beginning of the video, I tried Indian food the first time. And I really wasn't that fond of it at first. But then when I had it the second time, having burger chicken, garlic naan, it really opened my eyes to what other Indian foods had to offer. I feel like sometimes in life, myself included, of course. Growing up in America, sticking to the casual of McDonald's, KFC, I didn't really explore cultural foods until I got older. Of course, I had the traditional Vietnamese food growing up, but it wasn't until I went to college, tried sushi for the first time, then discovered Korean barbecue, 
And then my Fijian roommate introduced me to Indian food. And like it taught me a valuable lesson. And again, it's just try everything at least once. But in this case, at least twice. Of course, your first time maybe at a restaurant like me where the food quality wasn't the best. So it's easy for me to say, you know what I had before? Not my thing, no thanks. Let's eat something else. But if it wasn't for my last girlfriend, I would have never given it a second chance. Well, technically I would have because my roommate's Fijian. He had Indian food at his wedding, his events. But you guys get the idea, right? Anyways, with that being said, again, I ordered the wrong thing, but it actually became the right thing. This is really good. And apparently this is an appetizer because this was in the appetizer section of the menu. But again, I thought it was the, um, you know, samosas, man. The ones you can uh, hold in your hand, not like this. You know what I'm saying? But I think the ones you hold in your hand, is it the crust? I think it's called the crust, the outside. Because the crust is like the around it, right? Like a pizza crust or a pie crust. Anyways, you guys know what I'm saying, right? Mmm. Oh god, this is really good. It's like a mistake turned to like a really good item that I'm definitely gonna order again. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. And no, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> this is really good. And guys, let's get another bite of the tandoori chicken. Chicken leg, I should say. Mmm. My favorite buttered chicken with non bread. Is it non bread or just non? Regardless, this is mine. And you can't have non. <laughs> Get it? Sorry. Let's do this. Mm. And last but not least, finish it off with some lamb biryani. I mean, this lamb chunks right here. Oh man. They hooked you up here. Moon Cuisine, I think it was called. Mmm. Mmm. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Brenda's Fresh. We're all about moderation, not deprivation. Because hey, life is too short for brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli all day. Am I right? Don't forget to bring the shreds. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.